Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back again to Canon Fodder TV, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. I hope you can hear me loud and clear. Yes, Monday evening show. Oh, I'm not going to even unravel the game yesterday. Leeds versus Arsenal. Something about somebody didn't pay the lecky. Some forgot to put the 50 pence piece into the machine. You remember those days? But anyway, we've got three parts of the whole. <laughs> we've got some predictions, not from me, actually a question from me, uh, from an ex-Liverpool uh, legend. He was a legend, actually. What else have we got? We've got some comments from the X-Man. His thoughts on Arsenal's chance in the Premier League. What else have we got? We've got some other bit pieces on this Monday evening show over here on Canon for the TV. Yes, indeedy, we are back. We are live and direct from somewhere across the universe and cyberspace. And that's just about it. Monday evening show here, yeah, Canon for the TV, the channel. Still the channel for Arsenal fans that you're all over the gaff. Uh, what you can do in the next few seconds is make sure that you do subscribe to Canon for your TV. Hit the bell notification button so you can receive all the latest and breaking news. What, breaking news? The latest news? All the news, at least, anyway, over here on Canon Foy TV. Um, also, coming to live chat, you can see uh, the moderator for the evening, as always, the most steadiest moderator. Uh, Ashley D. I was going to say something else there, but uh, it's Monday. It's the first day of yeah of the week. Come to live chat. Let me know your thoughts about the game yesterday. Man City and Liverpool. Oh, my goodness. Talk about high octane. I thought, you know, Leeds versus Octane. But nah, man. Nah, Liverpool versus was, was Liverpool was high octane. So let me know your thoughts about that as well, uh, as well as everything else uh, under the, the, the banner of Arsenal as well. So without further ado, let me get into the first um, segment uh, of the, um, the, the the evening. Yes, today. What 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 a farce! What was going on? Poutage. Now I know there's been some kind of. Um, some some people some whisperings about could it have been done on purpose minutes minutes seconds before the off yeah oh, my, my goodness Arsenal you know, Premier League uh, of Leeds at Ellen Road was was halted halted uh, after a power issue uh, appeared to play havoc with the referees communication with goal line technology and VAR with play, players been sent back to the dressing rooms. I kid you not, that's what really happened. Yeah, if you didn't, you didn't know that, where, 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 where have you been living? What have you been doing? Arsenal stripped down the road uh, to face Leeds United was suspended only minutes after the kickoff after the power issue played havoc with the referee's cation system. Uh, a reported power surge at kickoff saw the issue arise with uh, play energy being halted before both sides were sent back to the dressing rooms by official uh, Chris Kavanagh. The game was only a matter of seconds old with reports suggesting that the the television feed, VAR, referee communication, even the lights, even the lights at Ellen Road were all affected. The lights there uh, did restore themselves almost instantly, although the same cannot quite be said uh, for the rest of the in-game systems. Now, I was thinking, does this, does this not sound familiar? Does this, did this not happen previously? I'm sure it did. Not not, not with Arsenal. It was, it was with another game. I'm sure it might have been Wimbledon. But yeah, I can't say anything more than that because I don't want to put the channel in any kind of situation there. But um, yeah, what is fact? The game was um uh, halted before the game actually got got to kick off. Weird, man. Very very strange. I don't know thoughts about that. The game halted before it even got started. Weird. Strange. I don't know, man. I can't. Say nothing more than that. I want to say it, but I can't. Anyway, anyway, the second new segment: the X Man gives his thoughts on Arsenal's chance, Arsenal's chances of what of winning the title. Well, Shaka gives verdict on Arsenal title chances with a message to Man City. If you didn't know, Man City lost yesterday. Yeah, 
What a high octane game. Well, anyway, uh, Granite Shaka is convinced Arsenal can produce a special year in inverted commas under Mikel Arteta this season by winning the Premier League. The guys sit top of the table going into uh, to Sunday's game against Leeds, a point ahead of a defending champions Man City. Arteta's side have have won eight of their nine matches, picking up big victories against Liverpool and Tottenham in recent weeks. He went on to say, "The X-Man, not me." Uh, it can be a special year if we go in like we are working at the moment. We can get something big. The midfield, uh, the midfielder told uh, uh, the Daily Mail. Asked if that means going for the title, he replied, "Of course, we have to believe in ourselves. If not, why are we playing?" Shaka also suggested that pundits are playing down Arsenal's chances, despite the evidence in front of them. A three-one derby victory over Spurs, a three-two win over Liverpool last uh, weekend, and our major achievements, which he believes are evidence of grit and determination as well as quality. What I hear from people outside that they are saying that we are not ready to beat the top six, uh, but we did it twice now, he added. We lost to uh, um, uh, Man United, where we were the better team. We need to give credit and respect to Man City. And what they did the last couple of years, you need the perfect day to beat them. But I think we are ready to have uh, this, this fight against them. Now, I did not give a prediction. I was supposed to give it on the easy talk, but I just didn't, you know, I, I thought the guys, the, the flow of alcohol and the flow of the conversation, I thought, you know, I just, as a host, I think in my opinion should be, if you don't hear me talk much on the easy talk, you mean that that's, it's a good show because you don't want to be giving really your opinion. That's why you've got your, your contributors. You're there to ask them their opinion. But um, yeah, I was supposed to give my prediction, give my prediction. Um, actually, I thought it was going to be 2-1 to Arsenal. That's the prediction for the game. I was also asked a question in the week, last week. Where do I think Arsenal are going to finish? Actually, I remember who asked the question. It was Carl. Yeah. The, the little uh, that's why. Where do I think they finish? Well, I, I'll say this for sure. I do not believe Arsenal will win the Premier League. But I think they will finish in the top four. It's a long, old season. The squad is quite thin on the ground. I looked at Gabriel Jesus yesterday. Looked a little bit out of sorts. A little bit out of sorts. And then Eddie Nketiah. I'm not having a go at Eddie Nketiah. Again, he's still not cemented a place in the first 11. And I know people are not happy with him because he's wearing a number 14 shirt. I said before, I don't really care what number he's wearing. He's had a five-year deal, bumped up his wages, but the guy cannot have a sustained presence in the first team. That is fact. Go back and check it. Gabriel Jesus, on the other hand, has been a short starter. He didn't play uh, last week, uh, you know, in the return game against Bodo Glimt. And um, like I said, I think what was it against Liverpool? I was surprised that he actually got to continue after he, was, he got concussion. So what I'm trying to say is, is that A, the, the squad is too thin. One, two, maybe three injuries, then we're probably going to be out of it. I mean, I've spoken about Thomas Party how many times. Good player when he plays. No use to us if he's injured. Zinchenko has been out for the longest time. And then you look at Gabriel Jesus. Again, didn't look himself. And then Eddie Nketiah cannot hold down a place in the first team. And then where are we? We're going to be so reliant on Bakaya Saka not to get injured, but I've got to say he's a lot more robust. Martinelli, again, I thought he played very, very well uh, yesterday. <clears throat> Eddie and Katia. So we don't have, I don't like to use the word backups, but we don't have additional players of the same quality of, or, or ilk or the same quality. So what's going to happen at January transfer window? I have no idea. Arsenal need to go in the market, January transfer window, and buy players. Now, I know it's difficult to buy players in the January transfer window. Arsenal Wenger said that. Mikko Arteta said that. But we've got to start now looking at players who can bump up the squad. So if, I'm going to say this, if, a conditional if, Gabba Jesus were to be injured, or were to get suspended, they say, right, we've got additional striker who can come in and, and play and literally not affect 
the balance of the squad or the team. And then Ketia, we've got to give him chances, man. That's what I'm going to say. I don't think he's he, I think he hasn't even started. I mean, a game. I don't think. I mean, he's come on as a sub, but he's not. He's not. He's not started. So that question that somebody asked me about where do I think Arsenal are going to finish? They won't. They won't win the Premier League. But I, I do believe that they will secure a top four position. Where it's going to be, your guess is as good as mine. It's a long old season, a long old season. So uh, to Carl, yeah, I'll answer your question, man. A bit long winded. But Granite Shaka, I think it's because, like you said, there's no point. There's no point. You know, playing the game, you don't believe you can win. Yeah? But you've got to keep things in perspective. It is a long old season. We're only 10 games in. One third, of, just, just short of one third of the season through. No cup games this year, although we've we played in the Europa League. But it's it's a long old season, Granite. Long old season. Anyway, uh, the last uh, segment, and what I'm going to do, let me put up the table. Uh, for you to see that we sit on top of the Premier League uh, tree there. Um, Michael Owen speaks. For my Liverpool man, Michael Owen believes with four points between them and Man uh, Arsenal and Man City, now is the time to consider Arsenal title challenges. Um, Arsenal have made a stunning start to the season uh, as um, they have been the, the best club in the Premier League so far. Now, he spoke on another um, platform. He said, possibly, after yesterday, people will be thinking, hang on, points is uh, is nice, a little cushion. I cast my mind back to Leicester, and it certainly wouldn't be a surprise like the Leicester season, but I do cast my mind back when Leicester went four points clear, and it's only Leicester. They they went, did it won it? Yeah, yeah, they won it. Arsenal have got a, a lot more ability than that team, and I do think if they continue like this for the next three, four games, if they continue winning, then all of a sudden people will be thinking, wow, they are the real deal. They are the biggest in the biggest form uh, or the biggest thorn in the side of, of Man City, maybe. So, uh, people, these or those have been the new segment current running on Canon 4 TV on this Monday, Monday, I repeat, Monday evening show here on Canon 4 TV. Uh, we're going to check out the Twitter feed and see if there's been any comments there. Uh, also, like I said, you know, continue to come to live chat, ask questions, debate, discuss, but do keep it clean, okay? So I'm looking at the Twitter feed, and it's telling me there's not been any comments here so far. Uh, sorry, let me, just, let me kind of just refresh. Oops, I can't refresh that. Okay, not to worry. Not to worry. Not to worry. Okay. Um, so now we can look at the poll, and the poll question was, uh, your man of the match. Who was your man of the match against Leeds United? Well, the protagonists or the choices were Granite Shaka, the Bukayo Saka, and Ramsdale, uh, Gabriel Magaliangs. I know I put Gabriel M. It should be a, should have been Gabriel Magaliangs, or I don't know, and other player. Now we have received a one thousand one hundred votes. One comment. One comment. Have I not just one set one comment? I don't think I have actually, and thirty four likes. So on 2% of the votes is other player. I don't know who that is. On 3% is Gabriel M. Magaliangs. On 5% is Granite Shaka. On 21% is Bukai Saka. And on a whopping 69% is this player over here. Where is he? Can I find him? Where is he? There he is. Aaron Ramsdale. So he is your chosen man of the match uh, against Leeds United. I thought he had a really good game. Really good game. Um, I just wish sometimes that he would just calm himself down. He has a way of, you know, just overexerting himself. Just calm me down a little bit. But he's your chosen man of the match. Leeds United against Leeds United. Right. I believe now we can go into the live chat for the first time on this Monday evening show over here and see who or what or where or why. Why? What's the who? Ashley D says, uh, hey up, Gooners, and hey up to you, Ashley. Uh, we were terrible. Uh, lucky to hold, uh, to, not to lose by at least four. Arsenal also needed a new uh, uh, batteries. It <laughs> looks like they, they are already uh, burnt out. Uh, well, I spent White being subbed off, and he was blowing. He was cream-crackered, knackered, tired. And 
That's what happens. That's what happens when the squad a thin, thin numbers, well, thin, and you're asking the same group of players to perform week in and week out, not only in the league, but in the Europa League. That's what's going to happen. Got to bump up the, the squad numbers, but not any old players of good quality. Good quality. Uh, no way are we going to win the league, uh, not after the last two performances. Squads are too small, defence dodgy, and Jesus and Saliba are one yellow. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to talk about this. There's two players, isn't there? A quite precarious situation. Two players who are just like one yellow card away from being um, suspended. Again, actually, I didn't talk about it, did I? I was talking about the injuries, but suspensions. Suspensions. All right. Uh... Okay, let me just double check and see if there's been not that many comments here. Okay, definitely there's not been any comments there on our Twitter feed. Oh, and that's just what I wanted to say. Uh, I thought Bakaya's goal, uh, I think, who was it who, who misplaced that? Miss it was a Leeds United player. Was it Rodrigo? I can't remember. But anyway, we'll take it kindly. Thank you very much. But to score from that angle, not with his stronger foot, with his weaker foot, right foot, just blasting in, in the roof of the net. It was a really good goal. Really good goal. So, yeah. Yeah. Starwood coming into form now, man. Now, I don't know if I'm Tony. Mr. Pugilistic boy is watching. You know I mean? Tony was saying about his conversion rates, the assists. I don't know, maybe Bukayo does watch Canon 4 TV. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. I think. Me thinks. Let's quickly refresh this here. Sorry about it. Just, just checking and making some changes here. All right, uh, so so me thinks um, that this um, short, sharp, I don't know, was it even a post-game review, to, to be honest? It's not, uh, I just, some kind of mashup between the news uh, of today and a little bit of view of the game yesterday. Um, so what's going to happen for the next few days? Well, the next few days, um, expect to see uh, me tomorrow and on Wednesday. Uh, on Thursday, well, we're going to be reviewing. Actually, just talking about the game. PSV ain't Oven uh, with my with myself and uh, my good friend James Rowe. Uh, I think Thursday as well. We've got Richard and the First Lady doing their show as well, uh, covering some Arsenal women's football as well as maybe they're probably going to be doing the review as well with Arsenal versus a uh, PSV ain't Oven. And then Friday, we're back to Friday again. Oh my goodness! I'm showing my age now. It will be the easy talk. I'm still trying to assemble my my contributors. Uh, you won't know until uh, maybe Thursday or Wednesday. But anyway, anyway, and um, I believe that is that. Thank you for joining me. And I was like, we topped at I think ten people. Uh, thank you for moderating this short sharp here on Canal Four TV. Make sure that you do subscribe to Canon for your TV and hit the bell notification button so you can receive almost, almost the latest of breaking news are right here. And this has been Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. <laughs>